everybody, it's me again, Kale. I'm here to play more Tales of Berseria. Last time we left off, Kamawana was in danger, delirious from her fever. So we went to go procure medicine. And in doing so, we found the troll that had killed Eleanor's mother and raided her town and put it to rest. As well as calming Eleanor's own personal problems. But now, now Kamawana, along with Medissa, who is trying to take care of her, has Therianized and gone off to Mount Killerous. We need to go there and stop her. You know, from hurting herself and others. Because that's what big sisters do. And big brothers. Because that's what Luffy set and Brokoro and Aizen are. We're a family, damn it. We're a strange, messed up family. But we're a family nonetheless. Let's go! Oh. Oh. Also, I need a lot more cat souls in order to continue my cat chest opening adventure. That was a harsh pill to swallow. Staying on topic. Am I gonna have to fight like a supercharged Kamalana? C can she also be like level 70, please? They wouldn't lock me into something like this without it being at least a reasonable for the end game encounter. They they wouldn't, right? I guess we'll find out. Also, while I'm here, did I get the cat's chest? I did. Perfect. I didn't get the big red dot, though. I might have to go get that real quick. I might have to go get that real quick. But, first things first. Kamawana, honey. You're hungry, right? It's okay. You can eat me if you need to. If it means you'll go back to your sweet, normal self. Stop! About to deliver some tough love. Come on. Go get her. I've got your mom's medicine right here. You're lying! It's true. Your mom heard you had a fever, so she sent us this medicine to give to you. No! I hate it! It tastes so bitter! It's okay. It's not bitter. Your mom figured out a way to make it sweet. Just for you. <laughs> I don't believe you! You're lying! Lying! Yes, yes, she is. It's true. Here, see? Poor sleepy Kamawana. Kamawana's fever has finally broken. She seems to be sleeping soundly. Well, that's one crisis averted. Eleanor, I couldn't have done this without you. Thank you. I was just following your example. You're really prepared to pull out all the stops for her, aren't you? I am. I don't know how this will all end up, but it just feels like the right way. Agreed. Weak. But as long as I can stay true to myself and live life as fully as I can, I figure my mom won't maybe understand. You already seem pretty strong to me, Eleanor. Seriously? What could ever make you think that? It's the parts you don't think about that are the strongest. That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> A mother's not ever going to be that hard on her child, no matter how they turn out. Mothers just want their children to be well and to live a happy life. I'm sure that's what yours meant for you. You think? 
Sounds right to me. If you ever become a mom yourself, you'll understand. I can't say I plan on it right now, but duly noted. <laughs> Eleanor! What's wrong? Why is your face all red? Is it? It's just... Uh, you see... We're just having a little girl talk amongst ourselves. You're free to join if you like, though. What? Um, no thanks. Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have teased him so much there. I may not be a mother, but I think I do understand. When I'm around Lafayette said and Kamalana, strong or weak, level-headed or a little lost, it doesn't matter. All kids deserve to have a good life. Damn right. Oh, hey, look! I can take a nap here. Hope surpassing reason. The true goal. Hope is the strongest of emotions. It's right up there, top tier with love and friendship. Oh, I got a new outfit. What outfit did I get? Out of curiosity. Is it awesome? Or is it just a color swap? Which would also be pretty awesome. Oh, it's pink! I like it! It also reminds me kind of, of Aizen's. It's got pink flowers to go with it. That's great. Yeah! Color swap! Are we all going to be red by the end of this? Yeah. Thanks, bud. Grimoire, could we talk? You sound oh no, it's so a Bienfu scene. Like it's the eve of the final battle. Well, isn't it? Can't you let yourself get caught up in the moment for a change? Getting caught up in the moment is for young, foolhardy lovers. <laughs> So, what is it you want to talk about? I just figured I should drop by since, well, like I said, the final battle with Inomi not is coming up and all. Ugh, you're talking like you're saying your last goodbyes. It's just that we're up against a lot. Even Miss Moggy. Come on, Bienfu. What the future holds for us, and she almost always has that stuff figured out. Whether she has it figured out or not, it is she never acts like life it. to follow our vessels and fight to the very end. That's what I've always thought, so I just dealt with Miss Moggy Lou's craziness up till now. But she's never thanked me for it. No, good job, Bienfu. No, I'm glad I'm your vessel. Not even something like, I'll introduce you to a cute girl <laughs> when it's all over. It'd be nice to hear a little gratitude from her. Even just once. Surely you know she's not the type to do that sort of thing, though, yes? That's all the more reason to want just one brief glimpse at who she is underneath. If you're so unhappy, it's not too late to switch back to the Abbey's side and become an informant again. Oh, what's the point in that? I don't know anything they'd want, and they wouldn't have any use for me there. So you lack confidence in your own abilities. Miss Moggy Lewis let me come with her wherever she went, and her talents have gotten us this far. But, now but you're a part of that. Me not, I'm worried. I don't know what use I can be for her, or if I can keep her safe. But you'll still go, won't you? Yeah, of course. Or else my name isn't Norman Brave. See, you can do this. You've been keeping Moggy Lou safe this whole time. With all the emotional pain she's been through, she's needed someone as thick-skinned and tenacious <laughs> as you. She may talk like she doesn't care, but she wouldn't have tracked you down and renewed your pact if she didn't. That's true. When you put it like that, bien! All right, you convinced me. That's as annoying right. as you are, you, just trust you are very Norman useful. Therapist's good advice. It won't steer you wrong. Wow. I'd have never expected you to actually make a joke like that, Grimoire. I just thought I'd get caught up in the moment like you wanted. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta do it every now and then. Otherwise, people start to question if you're even alive. I am, by the way. <laughs> uh, Normans, they're ridiculous. And where the hell is this? 
Oh, that shrine. I never went in there. Well, now I'm curious. Let's go find it. See if there's anything fancy up there. Or if it's just any old shrine. Boat. Oh, there is stuff in here. Hey, Grimoire. Is this where you hang out? real name is Magulanica, isn't it? Yes, it is. She's always been so distant. Distant? What makes you say that? She's always had strong resonance and was able to see us Malakim from the day she was born. Oh. But her family thought her powers were creepy and they abandoned her while she was still just an infant. Oh. That's terrible. So she got picked up by that crooked troop that put her in their freak show. Yeah, that was when she caught me. When I got caught up in her life. It's hard to imagine right. how painful it must have been. A little girl forced to the stage. Oh yeah. A source of amusement and revulsion and hate. You can see and she why fell into she that crevice. On her side, even if that someone was Bianfu. Wow. Hey! But she managed Rough. to get away, right? After the accident? Well, that accident was set up by Lord Melchior. What? Is it so hard to believe? Wow. Melchior was looking for someone he could shape into becoming his worthy successor. So he made sure she survived the wreck. Wow! He probably justified it as saving the world. What a Tell me dick! Grimoire, what's your connection with Melchior? I don't really have one. I knew the former head of the Exorcist a little, but I stayed out of his way. He never talked about personal matters. At least not while he was sober. As I recall, Magulu trained under Melchior, and rose as far up the ranks as Legget. That's right! She worked really, really hard to get there, too. Magilanica Lu Maven. That doesn't sound like her. When Melchior adopted her and gave her his last name, that was the first time she really felt that she had a home. When she lost that name, she was devastated. She failed Lord Melchior's last test, and he just discarded her like an unwanted toy. Aww. She was an empty shell of a person when Bienfu brought her to me. Magilu stayed with me for a little while, but then one day she left without warning. As for what happened next, well, you probably know better than I do. Yeah, I guess we do. I'd ask you to look after her, but I know how that would go. <laughs> It'd have to be a pretty cold day in hell. <laughs> I'm sorry I talked about your past behind your back. It wasn't my place to say. It doesn't bother me. We were talking about Magilanica, and Magilanica might as well be dead. But while we're on the subject, may I ask just one question? It wasn't failing to hold up against Melchior's art that broke your spirit, was it? It was when you realized that he no longer considered you his daughter. Who can say? I've left my life as Magilanica behind me. I'm not her anymore. I'm the evil witch Magilu who fights alongside the Lord of Calamity! Well, wherever you go, Miss Magilu, I'll follow you as long as I live! Well now, Bienfu, you think you can get away with talking about me behind my back? <laughs> Why do you only care that I did it? What about the others? Yours is not to question. Because <laughs> you're fun how to pick on. I forget how mean you are. <laughs> I'm glad you finally found a place where you can belong. Me too. For all the... Oh, I got Moggy loose! Man, what's her color variant like? Oh, dude! It's traditional Harlequin. Oh, I can get her hatless, too. That's kind of baller. Nice. Traditional Harlequin colors. I love it. You know, I'm not usually big on, like, variant outfits in Tales games. At least not my first playthrough. But these these color variants are just so dope. I don't need a bronze chest. It's, it's probably full of crap anyway. Although this is the way to get out of here. I guess. Pungent fluid. Mm, so aromatic. 
covers everything in this particular area. Except for that chest that I probably still can't open up. But we'll find out. Nope, not that way. I mean, finding cat souls was initially the primary goal of this particular session. Or not cat souls, but cat's chest. Nope, I am way off. <laughs> Oops. I mean, opening these was the primary goal of this session, but clearly that went off the rails quickly when I realized they take a lot. So, instead, we are going to focus on doing other things while under the guise of looking for cat's chests. So, where's next? I can't get... Did I ever get this one? I can't remember if I got this one or not. I got this one. Okay. So I got Guy Burke. Can't get that one. Already got that one. So now we're off at Renied. Which is... Actually fairly cheap if I still need it. I don't. But there are some things I could go do here. I've also never been in that warehouse. Hmm. Maybe there's a cat's chest in the adjoining areas. If I can remember what buttons to hit. Got that one. Got that one. Got that one. I was pretty thorough when I first made landfall. I didn't get that one, though. That is really far away from any place, though. Got that one. Got that one. Did I get Vortigern? Nope, nope, nope. Go back to the Vortigern. Vortigern! Man, I remember Vertigern. That was a long time ago, though. Memories. I did get it. Perfect. So, I guess we'll just go to Renid for now. I have no reason not to. I'm basically off the rails at this point. Let's just go and fool around in various towns and hamlets. Got nothing better to do with my time. It's not like I'm recording this for YouTube or oh, hey, right. Hey, so long as I keep talking and it's at least fairly entertaining, I'm doing my job. <laughs> I never promised this would be the swift swiftest completion of a game ever. Just that it would be as complete as I am willing to make it. Mercio was attacked by the Lord of Calamity, and the town was lost. They say a bizarrely dressed witch chased down the townspeople and devoured any she caught. That must be the Lord of Calamity. She dressed as a cackling witch to toy and torment us humans. That monster! They say she wore a black cloak, a big hat, and rode a broomstick. She jeered and jested at those she caught. So, a demon impersonated a witch and hunted humans, huh? What happened in Mercio really got twisted in the telling. Yeah, it did. That's the grapevine for you. But that aside, this is unforgivable. <laughs> I'd never use a broom or wear a black cloak. It'd go against my superb fashion sense. Of course it would. Damn it, Mocky Lou. Thank you. And that place oh, there you really go. was a prison island. Worse. I heard that's where the Lord of Calamity was born. Where did you hear that? From an exorcist who lost his Malik and caught the demon blight. He screamed it as he was killing his exorcist buddies. It happened in the forest. I managed to hide. I've never been so terrified in my life. Oh man, another side boss? Demon. Holy he cow, they're everywhere. Lost himself when he lost his Malik. Looks like we really did a number on the Abbey. If that's true, then it means the calamity was born right under the Abbey's nose, and they let her escape. How could they, they created her? I don't know, but I guess it means the exorcists aren't perfect. I thought that if we followed the shepherd, the Abbey would save us. But maybe that was just wishful thinking. 
Has nobody looked up in the sky and seen the giant floating palace of obvious death? Am I the only one who's aware of that? I feel like I'm the only one who's aware of that. Take a look at this. Woo! I got another long Dao dictionary. Kresnik Island. Awesome. Also, why is it shaped like a cat? An island ruled by cats. Only those personally chosen by the feline emperor are permitted to land here. Is the feline emperor Lulu? The big fat cat from Tales of Zillia 2? Was it named Lulu? I can't remember. I can't remember that cat's name now. I feel bad for that. Either way, go there and find me a trinket. Setting sail. Did I ever get the treasure from the other place? I don't think I... No, wait, it was this thing. Yeah, this was the, from the Tipo Islands. Okay. Good, good. Um... No? Some people? Tight. Alright, take it easy, guys. Um... Oh, I still gotta get that cat's chest from that one place. Guess we'll head out there. Oh, but I can't use my board in that... in one of those areas. Heck, I probably can't use my board in a lot of those areas. I didn't have my board when I went through a lot of these places. Uh, now I gotta walk. Lame. Leave me alone. Ugh. So lame when I gotta walk. Interesting that all these treasure chests respawn, though. I wonder if that's by a time thing, or if that happens by event. Going the wrong way. Let me know what triggers the uh, the chest respawning. I'd be interested in knowing that little bit of information. Ah, skunks! <clears throat> Boop. I'm gonna do this again. Now I don't feel so lost. I really hope I have this in, other, in the other areas up ahead. I'll be really sad when I can't do this. Mother... F Son of a... Walking socks. I already knew I had the cat's chest. That's not what I'm worried about. At least not in this. At least in this area, anyway. It's all the way over there. Couldn't have been closer. I will murder you. Don't make me. I don't want to. But I will if I have to. Now I will. Because now I can just run into you and it's fun. <laughs> Sadly, don't get rewarded for that, though. You'd think they'd be worth, like, cat souls at the very least. Also, gonna save just in case there's a random monster in here. Take no chances. No chances whatsoever. So the reason this place worries me is because it's actually a very central point of interest in Tales of Cestria. There's... There's people here.
Also, the scary music doesn't help. It's on the high ground. Got it. Well, I guess I better go figure out who those people are. Let's see if they got anything interesting to say. There's also mini game cats here. What's that about? Oh, what up? All came from all four nations. What's up? The elemental Imperians are awake, but their powers clash and the balance is breaking. But what else can you expect after rousting them so impolitely? Will apologizing help? Because we're sorry. I'm afraid it won't be that easy. But neither should I be so eager to cast blame. If we don't do something, the world will be torn apart. We will attempt to hold it together by expanding our domain so the Empyreans can find an equilibrium. We won't forget what humans did to us. As an exorcist, I apologize for our brutal treatment of Malakim. I am deeply sorry. That's only the start of it. Do we even know why the Elemental Empyreans were asleep? It's because people forgot to honor them for protecting this world. I am deeply sorry for that as well. There's no sense in beating you up over it, but still. Only believing in what you can see with your own eyes may be humanity's biggest failing. Yeah, we do do that a lot, don't we? I looked at some volumes on history written by humans, and they're rather spotty. Spans lasting tens of thousands of years have been reduced to mere hundreds. Recent events are fine, but information from days when Moloch influence was strong and rife with errors. Was strong is rife with errors. This is because of a Nominat suppression in the past, but still, it seems such a waste. Well, then write a book, dude! What, are Moloch completely incapable of writing down books? Yeah, that'd be really helpful. You guys live for, like, thousands of years. Ugh. I swear, they expect us to do everything. And then they wonder why we enslave them. It's because we're assholes. I won't defend us. There is a haven for Malachim and humans with resonance. Land of... There is a sad parting, however, and many of the Malachim chose to sleep within the land. They did so with the dream of a world where humans and Malachim could coexist. But in the end, they were fruit right, for, right to be plucked and dropped into a Nomenot's basket. And then they were given to the exorcists. Coexisting with humans is a hard lot. Yes, but giving up on that dream would make the tragedy even more senseless. Couldn't bear that. Oh, these group, these guys seem like they're pretty awesome. They're having a hard time, like coping with all this, but they're trying. I mean, that's that's what makes the future, you know. Trying despite all the harshnesses. Now, what's this random mini game back here in this place of all places? Nope, don't care. Thought I could care. Don't care. Ooh, Ketzel's. Ooh, another treasure chest. A closed treasure chest. Neat. Show me affordable cat's chest. Woo! I can still accomplish things, everybody. I'm only doing this because I know it's a side quest for something bigger later on. Or at least one would assume so. I can't confirm. Because I don't look things up. It's more fun that way. Anyway. Speaking of more fun, there will be more fun in the next episode. We are at our 30 minute time limit, as per usual. So, next time we will continue doing random things, 
Although, now that I'm out of cat souls... Maybe I'll go investigate some of these bosses. That could be exciting. And deadly! But we'll see just how deadly next time. Anyway, I hope you're all enjoying yourselves. And if you are, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And tell a friend. Give us a share. That's always nice. I hope you're having yourselves a wonderful night. And I will see you in the next adventure. Later.